Hello and welcome to a quick demo session on Zoho Invoice on how to change the email templates that are used to send the estimates, also known as quotations, and the invoices to the customers. First thing to note is that this is an administration setting, so the user who does this needs to be an admin user. To do this, they would start with the settings item at the top on the top menu bar, and then you see the settings page. These are all related to emails, so they are all grouped under email settings down here on the bottom left. And let's look at the estimation or the estimate notification here, which is used to send the quotation to the customers. You can see the email here, and if you want to change any of the email, you can just do so from within this screen. So for example, if I want to change it, I can uh, do so here. Okay, so the basically the email can be edited here. Placeholders, these are the items that are stored within the estimate itself within Zoho Invoice or Zoho Books. These are the dynamic placeholders that can be placed within the email, for example, you've got first name here. If I wanted to change that I can put salutation and then if I wanted it more formal than just the first name I would put salutation space and then last name for example. Okay so here is where I can use the dynamic placeholders that are part of the estimate itself. Okay so I can go down here when I'm ready to finish the email I simply click save. And then what that has done, that has changed the email template so that you can use that moving forwards on the front end of the system. So if I were to go to the estimates, and then from there I just select one that has not been sent, and then I can click email estimate. Then you can see here that the tag has been added and so on. It is important, as you can see in this case, it is important to note that if you don't sync the data from uh, your CRM or you don't populate the data with, with the relevant value, then it won't have anything to place in there. So there may be a space or something like that. So you need to consider that factor when using dynamic placeholders. If you haven't got the data in it, then they don't have anything to place in the email template. So you do need to uh, make sure your data is up to date. So the same concept applies for the invoice template. I simply click settings. Under email settings, I click invoice notification. And there is the email in exactly the same way. So again, I can change this to uh, a dynamic uh, header. So I can put their first name. Uh, I can change the uh, email body. The values here all come from the invoice information itself again so it's all dynamic and I can place the value into the email body simply by, by clicking the placeholder this is also where I can insert the online payment URL uh, this is to allow payment of the invoice uh, online by clicking a link within the email uh, this has to be set up uh, in the payment gateway settings in the back end in the admin side first before you can use this. Finally you will also note that in the Zoho invoice and Zoho books uh, email editor there is no function to use HTML editing like bold and italic underlining uh, including an image or anything like that so that is a very deliberate function on the Zoho part they have chosen to do this uh, implementing simplicity and speed of use rather than uh, allowing users to have all kinds of fancy email signatures and headers and footers and HTML editing. They, they've basically done away with that for the one-click process that is so, so useful within Zoho Invoice. Okay, so you cannot edit your email uh, in an HTML format. It is basically done as text in this format uh, and once it's done that's it, you save it. Okay, finally, the other feature that you'll see here is to use the email signature. If you do want to change the email signature in Zoho Books or Zoho Invoice, you can do so again from email settings. 
and signature. It is important to note this is not the same as Zoho CRM. This is not a user-based signature. This signature will apply to every user that uses the system. It is not the same as the CRM where the signature is user-based and it's actually a lot more flexible. Uh, so that is something to bear in mind here. So for example, if I were to put the, a website here, the company name, company website, and these placeholder here, they all come from the organization settings that the administrator has set up for your company using Zoho Books or Zoho Invoice. Okay, so again, you need to make sure that there is some data in there in order for it to appear in the email signature. But this email signature is generic across all users of the system. That's very important to remember. Okay, and that is how, I'll just click back to the settings, that is how you use the email settings in Zoho Invoice and Zoho Books. It's the same functionality to change the estimate notification for quotations and the invoice notification for invoices. Thanks very much.